So good morning again. I've just finished giving this pastry a three. I've a lot of home bakers are asking me questions about, you know, freezing ice blankets. Where can they get them? How much they cost? So there is actually a very, very cheap solution uh, for ice blankets if you want to chill your pastry. And I'm going to show you that now. So the most important thing is first you cover your pastry with plastic. Okay. Completely covered in plastic so that it's protected, it's not going to get frostbite. And once it's safely encased then in plastic, what you can do is you can have your freezer stocked up with frozen peas or frozen sweet corn. Okay? And the reason that I'm suggesting frozen peas of sweet corn, you can see as I lay them down, they stack very flat, you know, whereas if you were using broccoli florets or something like that, they're not going to do the job. So you simply get your pastry and put it in between. The, the uh, frozen corn or peas and just put that tray just put this tray as it is into the freezer, okay? And the contact both top and bottom of the frozen peas and the frozen corn is going to rapidly chill down the pastry there and keep it nice and cool for when you go to laminate it. It's a very cheap solution, okay? And it's something that you can have and you can eat it and enjoy it afterwards. Hope this is useful for you. Talk to you soon. Bye.